All right, you guys better be on the lookout for it. Stay tuned right here where we will be uh, breaking it down to you guys each and every week right here on the pregame show channel and on Big Dog Chico channel. Uh, before we move on, last thing I got to bring up is the viral moment that I would call it. But I loved it, dog. I loved it. It's prime being prime with the 2024 version of Must Be The Money with Yellow Beezy, Snoop Dogg, and he premiered it out there. Or we kind of got a sneak peek, should I say, out in Snoop Dogg's um, compound out in uh, L.A. What did you think about that? Uh, what's your take on it? I know you heard it before everybody else probably. What's your take on that? And do you have any uh, behind-the-scenes type insight for us? So, yes and yes. My take on it was I was relieved because I've heard this song now for the past three months at least <laughs> and hadn't been able to tell anybody or, or say, man, listen to this. Uh, yeah. So now that at least his verse is out or part of his verse is out, uh, it turns off before he wraps it up. Uh, I love it. I mean, you I can't wait for y'all to hear Yellow Beezy's and Snoop's verse. Uh, you know, you get down the road, it's probably going to be a remix with Lil Wayne. I mean, there, there's a lot to this thing that's coming. Uh, but yeah, back in, uh, and I'm, I'll be putting it out along with the release, the official release of the song. But back in February, I was with Coach Prime in his office and his uh, chief of staff, Ray Forsett, we call him Pretty Tony, uh, was doing a FaceTime with Coach Prime and Yellow Beezy and they were, you know, discussing the song and all that. And so to see it to come from, from, a concept in January, February to now hearing it, uh, it is it's, it's tight, man. It's tight. It's, it's going to be a summer anthem. People are going to be riding bumping to it. Even hey, even the haters are going to have it <laughs> on their playlist. Even the haters going to be bumping it. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, I've already had it on repeat. I just just this verse. We just put that on repeat. And let that thing ride out, you know. So, <laughs> Go, hey, he rolled that thing, man. Shout out to Prime. Um, he, he, he finally brought it back. I used to run home in sixth grade to hope to catch it on BET. Yeah. We used to play it on Rap City here and there, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm loving to see that. And he went one of my favorite Snoop Dogg. So uh, shout out to Absolutely. Snoop Dogg. Absolutely. Take, and, uh, take this, up. man. Not, I know we're getting ready to close out episode two, but another viral moment I got to be a part of, I got to be the cameraman for Well Off Media uh, when he wanted to talk to all three of his sons at the same time. Uh, in the oh, indoor yeah. practice facility. So that was me on the camera. Uh, and to sit there and, and I knew everybody was going to eventually see it, but to be witness it live, the conversation that they were having, you know, as father and sons. And uh, I, I am sure, or I hope some of it got edited because they, they went a different direction on some stuff. Uh, <laughs> but but, e but either way, I think that's going to be a, a reoccurring, you know, conversation and series uh, showing them together like that. It, it started off with, you know, Bucky just filming, Shiloh should doing his dad, but then he was like, "No, nah, Bucky, you need to get on this too." So I got the camera, and that that was that was cool to be part of. Yeah, that was a legendary moment right there. I was watching yeah. it like, damn, I don't know if we ever seen them like that with Bucky kind of breaking that what what do you call it? breaking the fourth wall? Yeah, coming from behind the camera. Yeah, and I don't think we had, had seen it like that. And so, yeah, I think I even come in and say, "Man, man, we need to see this at least weekly." You know, <laughs> with you guys on there, so. Hey, uh, much love to them. Shout out to Bucky once again doing this thing and uh, from the get-go and yourself and uh, Darius Sanders. And for all the people out there, I saw somebody said that Coach Prime has two of his sons working in the media. That are, Well, Darius is not his son. He just yeah. has the same last name. Yeah, it's no, it's so, no relation. They're not re and it's so funny. It's like he's Darius Sanders and he's from Dallas, so people just assume that they're related. But he, he's, a, he's a Sanders it's not related. I'll tell you another inside joke with, with the three of us or the four of us, kind of Coach Brian. We'll, we'll have an assignment or something that he needs done to be shot or edited, and he'll text it to us, and I'll be like, hey, man, my, my last name ain't Sanders. He's talking to y'all. Like, so, <laughs> so even though Darius is not a Sanders, I'll treat him like he's a Sanders, and them said, like, hey, man, y'all last name Sanders. Y'all got to do that. All right. <laughs> All right, man. Shout out to them, man. Uh, and Pretty Tony, too. I, oh, I yeah. PT. Yeah. All right, so this is going to wrap it up. Uh, what are we going to leave it on, Neil? What are we going to leave it on? Leave us oh, with man. something. Me, I'm going to give you this, man, uh, because it's been a good buzz from it from week one of you and I doing this joint content together, and we're going to keep it going. Y'all make sure to comments on either channel or on Instagram for the promo stuff y'all want to hear us talk about, but continue to support the businesses that we highlight. Uh, and, and and let me tell y'all this, man, this ain't something like that we get in a cut of or 
you know, this is just love. Like I told Chico when I first met him, met him like through this, not even personally, Coach Prime opened doors for me. Who am I not to open doors for other? So you see us promoting folks, man. We're promoting good people with good hearts and got great products. So, you know, keep in mind, you know, the uh, MDJ original jackets, the glass house opticals, you know, anything that you see us rocking, we rocking it so y'all can support it too. Exactly. And we got to like it. We got to actually rock it all. So don't send us no box of, no, just playing. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, you can send me something and then it DM me like, man, I ain't seen you in it because it was trash. That's why you ain't seen me in it. Like, it, no, it's got to, we, we pushing positive and quality, man. Like, this stuff got to be sustainable. Got to be legit. Yeah. You know, it's got to be something that, you know, we know and trust that, that people uh, are dealing with somebody reputable on the other end of the transaction. And so there's, yeah. there's just say, hey, just like how we came together, Chico, there's a vetting process to this. It ain't just no, you know, come one, come all. It's like, no, nah, we, we watching you. <laughs> we'll yeah. we let you know when to come in. Right, exactly, exactly. So that's how it works, man. That's how it works. You can't both guard your way into stuff. You know what I'm saying? No. Do your thing, stay consistent, do what you're supposed to do. And as I posted on my Facebook earlier, do good and, and do good, do right, and good will come to you. Every and day. That's for my grandmother. You know, RIP to her. Shout out to Selma, Alabama. Shout out to Jackson, Mississippi, and everywhere in between. This has been another episode of Unk and Chico. Y'all make sure y'all follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, and all the other good stuff, man. We're going to be up and about here. Peace in the Middle East. Yeah. You already know what it is. Unk and Chico, the best tag team on the internet going live right now. Email us today to become an advertiser or presenting sponsor of Unk and Chico. Let's go.